Welcome back to our Tennis Channel desk. We are very pleased to be joined by Brandon Nakashima. Congratulations. Big win today against Chris Eubanks. It's your 20th win of the year. I know it's your first on the tour level, but still, that's a lot of wins. We're only at the start of March. Uh, how would you characterize your game right now, and how did that get you through today? Yeah, I mean, it was a good start today. You know, always enjoy coming back to Indian Wells, and, and it's been a great start to the year for me. You know, ending last year, you know, not kind of the way we wanted, but, uh, you know, kind of practicing a lot, getting the game back to where it, where it needs to be. And, and, you know, I'm happy that it's heading in the right direction right now. Big Banks has had one heck of a last 12 months. He's been playing really well, super confident. But um, it looked like you were able to sort of not allow him to play his big game today. Um, what was your strategy out there? Did the, did the courts, the gritty courts help? Yeah, I, I think it definitely played a, a big role, in especially returning his serve and off the baseline, mm -hmm. you know. The gritty courts a little bit slower, so the balls weren't coming at me as as fast and you know as low, yep. uh, bouncing. But uh, but I'm happy with the way I played today. You know, was able to hold my serve, um, you know, pretty pretty often, uh, or actually the whole match, and um, you know, got those opportunities on his serve and you know managed to pull it out in the end. Be the, the the level of competition on the challenger circuit and on the main tour is just so tough, regardless of where you play. As Steve talked about, 20th win today, but you picked up 19 wins already mm -hmm. on the challenger level. How much is being in the habit of winning helpful when when you're coming up to these levels? Yeah, of course. You know, anytime you're winning a lot of matches, you know, you're gaining a lot of confidence. And at any level, all these matches are super tough. And yeah. and you know, the beginning of this year, I was I was over in Europe playing a bunch of challengers. Stayed over there for a while. And uh, of course, you know it's not easy being away from home yeah. um, for that long of a time. But uh, but I'm happy with you know how I was playing over there, getting all those wins under my belt, and, and you know gave me a lot of confidence heading into this tournament. It's impressive, Brandon, because you've been ranked 43 in the world before. So to go back down to that level at a young age takes a really mature mindset. What went into that strategy for you? Obviously, it's paying off. Yeah, I mean, you know, tennis is tennis is uh, not easy. You know, the the ranking. If you know you're not playing well, not playing with a lot of confidence, it it can definitely go down pretty quickly. Um, so uh, so you know, it's just a matter of kind of turning it around. You know, going back to the practice court, figuring out what you need to work on and what you need to do to kind of get back to the top. And and you know, I'm happy with you know where I'm progressing so far. And um, you know, it's always nice to you know kind of have that rise again, um, you know, back into the top 100. And obviously, you know, you don't want to get below 100 again, but uh, but it's always nice to get a bunch of wins and, you know, progressing nicely. B, I remember when we chatted, uh, I think, two, three years ago in Washington, mm -hmm. and you were just, you know, flying up the rankings there, and everything was new, yeah. right? So you were, you were dealing with everything for the first time, and now you do have some experience. You've been on the tour for a few years. How would you describe sort of your perspective at where you are in your career mentally right now versus when you sort of first came on and everything was new? Yeah, of course, I'm still really young, so yeah. a, lot, a lot of new experiences for me. But, uh, but like you said, I've been on the tour for, you know, a couple years now. And, uh, you know, kind of got used to a lot of things. Um, but, you know, with every match, every tournament, you know, it's always going to be a new experience. And, you know, you just try to take those past experiences as best as possible and, and um, you know, kind of keep moving forward. Yeah. Before we let you go, uh, I'm driving here from L.A. to the desert. Side of the road, I see this billboard. Oh, yeah. Brandon Nakashima. B big ad for Fila. Did you uh, see that? So what, good. What, what's, <laughs> so I didn't good. see any other players but you in a big billboard on the way here. Oh, really? I mean, honestly, I didn't see it. I was driving from <laughs> San Diego. I didn't see it. But uh, but Fila did mention that they were going to put some stuff, uh, you know, on the freeway. And I had a couple friends, you know, saw some pictures of me at the airport uh, coming in. So uh, so it's always nice to, you know, represent Fila. And especially in this kind of tournament, you know, um, it's really special. You might, you might have the the Calvin Klein underwear ads, That's like <laughs> like Tiafo and Alcaraz <laughs> next. You better get ready. Yeah, I don't know about that, but I mean, we'll see. Bina, <laughs> side of the highway. I'm like, there's my guy right That's there. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Congratulations on the win today. Best of luck Thank moving you. forward. Keep it going. Thank you. I appreciate it.